the agenda down my throat, little missy. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> Be happy. Okay. Be happy now. Uh, Woo! Right. Do what? <laughs> <laughs> Say hello to all the people, you freaking dork. <laughs> hello to all the people. <laughs> oh, I'm having way too much fun, damn it. I know. And me, I'm sitting here all alone with my pipe and everything, and you're having all the fun. I know. <sighs> the sacrifices I make for the RLM. Uh, I know. Oh, well. Let's you're see. welcome, Grim. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Where are we at? Why are we here? The Where are we at and why are we here? We are at the dork table here on reallibertymedia.com channel 3, also on the rlm.xyz uh, radio site and or rlmradio.xyz or some such shit. I don't know. And we're... <laughs> Well, you know, just say something. Who, say, who's gonna Who's gonna care in a hundred years anyway? Something. There you go. Um, let's see. Um, hey there to all you Twitter peeps. Twitter. Tweet. 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 Yes. Tweet. 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 Twitter twats. The Twitter twats. Twat? Did you say? Twats. The free world. Hello, Twitter twats. Twat? You say? I can't hear you. I have an ear infection. <laughs> <laughs> I should I should repost that airbase in Kirkwall called Twat. Oh, <laughs> Twat Orkney, the Ooh. wildest place on the whole planet. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Okay. T W A A T for anybody that has Google. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I um, also posted it over here on Minds, and I see Flash. Somebody liked it. <laughs> Other than that, that's, yeah, everybody's that's, just that's really. Cool. They're being that's healthy. My, that's my responsibility, Miss Mary. Oh, okay. Well, over on mines there, don't worry. Be healthy. Be healthy now. Woo! -hoo. Okay. <laughs> I, would, I would say by by a lot of the links, that would be one of them there. American-based companies that gets those American-based people that have, you know, American perspectives. Ooh, America. Uh -huh. Merka. Oh, say hi to the wife. Oh. Hi, wife. Hi, wife. <laughs> wow. This gets weirder every week. Yes, it does. That's what it's supposed okay. to do, isn't it? Uh, let's see. Over here on Fakey Book, I don't really see anybody paying attention over here on Facebook, oh. and that's just nothing new and unusual either. Over here on Freedom's Network, I see Grimner is over here, and he's sharing hey. us. Grimner. Yay, Grimner, Grimmy, Grimmy, Grimmy. And I was listening, kind of, sort of, whilst having a soak last night to the Freaker's Ball, and then I lost internet. What the hell? Oh, yeah, I read about that. It's like, hey, hey, hey. Of course, it got, you know, it was slick. It's very slick out here. Um, or I let my puppies. You have, or you have finally become a, a name on somebody's list, and they shut you off. Oh, they hey. silence you. So huh. you can't get the message out to the free people. <laughs> there's free people out there? <laughs> I tell you, there's a handful. Yeah. Oh, okay. It's like, a hard life, let me tell you. Yeah, it's a hard knock life for us. Oh, good God. Now I'm doing, um, God, Orphan Annie shit. That's <laughs> 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 Exactly. Hey, hello, hot wife. Whoa, Rubworks. <laughs> I, al <laughs> I also, over. I'm still on FN site. Katie Troxel hey, was over here as well as Bach Fan and Rob Works. So, oh, yeah, I, I heard you get a little disappointed when you realized that Troxel and your buddy Blaze are like, you know, two matches in a fire. Oh, well, you know, I'm happy for them. Yeah, well, the good side is they, they're so happy to be able to bash Jews now. They got something in common. Ah. Remember ah. when it was again, yeah, you couldn't, yeah, don't talk about the Jews. No, no, no. <laughs> now it's like, hey, we can talk about the Jews, but you can't say nigger. <laughs> oh. They're trained what? up to fucking off white people, Mary. It's total insanity. I'm, really? Yeah, because there's total insanity going on over here in the RLM right now. Because yeah, there's uh, 
Rob Works is going to finger it out. I like that, Rob. That's and, on the very, very deep, very deep, profound. Very, very pro profound. Very profound, yeah. Okay. So profound that Grammy me. said Grammy was freaking naked. <laughs> That's why I don't get the camera this week. That's Oh, it's a conspiracy to stop me from seeing the truth. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not wearing my uh, Eeyore thing today. We don't want to discuss it. Wayne, Wayne, <laughs> Wayne's got enough to think about. <laughs> oh, well. Over here in the RLM, good God. Um, well, we don't need him having to take you to this therapist for, you know, therapy. Because you got damaged on the dork table. <laughs> uh, no, I've I've been damaged for years. This this has absolutely nothing to do with it. <laughs> okay. I'm damaged. Well, you're not Jewish enough to sue me. I'll keep talking to you. How do you be? Da how are you damaged goods? That's what I want to know. If you're good and you're damaged, does that mean you're kinky? <laughs> it's all in, yeah. It's all in your for your uh your perceptions and how you see the future and such ah, hey, ah. i don't know i was gonna go way the fuck out there with that one so i stopped myself <laughs> oh okay. okay hello rlm hello rlm hello barman and thank you for tweeting us out over there on twitter we really do dorkularly appreciate it appreciate it and all that fun stuff yeah. And Grimmy is here. Grimmy is the rlm god and then the lovely moose girl is here moosey moose um, I also see the lovely Kate is in the house. Yeah. Wee hoo! Yes. Ooh, there's that bubbler going around. Sweet. <laughs> God bless wow. you. That was a good hit. <laughs> <laughs> Made my butthole puckered. Did you hear that? <laughs> Oh, that's what that was. Now I know what a butthole pucker sounds like. <laughs> we're we're going to start a frenzy. I know. I know. People are going to go, God, what the hell? Um, BTC Bob is also over here as well as Chalcedony. Hey, Chalcedony. <laughs> the lovely Chloe and free Chloe. enslaved. Free enslaved was free and nerdlier earlier nerdly nerd, 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 yeah something like that um <laughs> i'm here why does it say hey i changed my name z i changed it to gramzy dork what the hell what? oh i'll bet you i hit cancel you didn't hit enter. <laughs> <laughs> uh, said those big c words usually nail you huh? <laughs> cancel <laughs> I was so confused it had a C in it. <laughs> My bad. I am a dork now. <laughs> As if it needed to be in writing to make it so. I don't think so. That doesn't change anything. Oh. Sign the papers. Sign the papers, dork. I see uh, I be Don C is here, too. <laughs> we am the new employed brand of I be done C. That's right. That's right. And Back Java into Doctor. The slave forces he goes. Yes it is. Yes it is. Um Java um, Doctor Java Doctor. Hello Infu, can you tell me yeah, Pete and Repeat were sitting on a bench. Pete fell off and who's left? Repeat. Pete and Repeat. Uh, Hallelujah, really? brothers and sisters. I say a man. Uh, uh, thanks, J Dread. Uh Double oh. dose of Java Doctor going on in the house Java as well. Two. Yeah, yeah, underscore. Java and Java too, and he's got underscore. A, I know he's got underscores out the underscore. <laughs> <laughs> and there's a JJ's in the house as well. Asshole, you old whore. <laughs> It's going to be uh, one of those shows, now, isn't it? <laughs> moving on to the J's, Nines, and J's. Guy. Yeah, I said J's, Nines, J. Freaking nerds. I Sweet. was busy. I wasn't listening. See how you are. And Juana Taco. Juana. You want a taco? <laughs> I don't want a yeah. taco no more. I want to sit here and giggle. 
Yeah, the lovely rain is here as well. That's that rain coming down. And uh, <laughs> I see the fluke. Oh, so God, dumb. there's that creeper that voice. Jeez. And, uh, no, go back I to the a, Donald Duck thing. I have a, I have a special hard drive to show you this week. <laughs> if you meet me in the <laughs> You can, uh, you know, research my data for me. Thank you. Fuck you. That's not a hard drive. It's a floppy disk. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Booyah. Boy, you sure don't like Hank. <laughs> oh, wow. Wait, Hi, Rob Works. <laughs> You're going to be surprised. <laughs> no, I ain't looking, damn it. There's just some things you cannot erase. Wow. Bring Whew. on the butler! Yeah. Well, right now he's telling people, don't be underscore. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what that means, and I'm laughing at it. Oh, wow. This is going to be a fun show. Yes, it is. Hi, Thank trust no much. one. Trust no one. Oh, Rob had an omelet today. I had multi-grain... Um, hot cereal with banana had, and uh, and honey. You had chocolate cake? Yep. Chocolate cake? I am the truest dork at the table. Tonight, I have not eaten real food yet. <laughs> Dad is great. Just cake. <laughs> Gives us chocolate cake. <laughs> <laughs> well, I got served by Cirque, but okay. Oh, there you go. You are so lucky that I don't have the camera on because, man, you would be sitting there going, what the fuck? Okay. No, nah, that's um, all right. I, I, I know you. We yeah, you're to used to it. Yeah, I'm not a virgin. This ain't my first rodeo, if you know what I mean. Yeah, dude. I've, I've ridden this here dark table many times, many times. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Yes, J. Dredd, you should be staying home. Stay away from the clinics that give you those free, those flu shots because those are killing you, I tell you. If you don't get the flu shot, you'll survive. If you get the flu shot, you won't. Okay, moving along. <laughs> Hi, Beetle. 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 I also see Colfax 101, who is really ah, Nenson Dubois, undercover. That's yes. Nenson. The English spy that wouldn't die. <laughs> <laughs> hey, okay. <laughs> why not burn birds for fuel? Wait a minute. Oh, ooh, yeah. So it will fly away. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm all choked up on that. I should learn to swallow when I drink, not uh, breathe. Here we go with that again. Hi, Dakota. <laughs> and Dima. <laughs> and Dork Cakes. Dork cakes. Hey, Did you see me waving at you earlier, dorky? <laughs> I waved. It was a cyber wave, but it was a wave. Got the wave going. Okay. Hi, Flash <laughs> underscore. You've been underscored too. Holy smokes, Batman. And a double dose of frumpy going on too. Frumpy. Yeah, I'm frumpy feeling too. frumpy. I'm still in my jammers. <laughs> uh. Lounging pajamas. Yeah, that's um. what they call them. <laughs> <laughs> because when you wear shit like that, men don't come near you. <laughs> that's why that's I wear it. like the female way of saying, no, don't even bother. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, yeah. Wait until dark. <laughs> yeah. Can't you wait until the damn sun goes down? <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, yeah, Gooberzilla. Hi, Goober. Goober. And Kozu. I see Kozu. And Mr. Asmodeus. Asmodeus. As well as Poxified and Pompo Pond Sauce, although they're marked away. And Slim Jim uh, Flim is Slim here. Jim is here. Mm. 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 Uh, and do <laughs> like spitting on the floor. <laughs> Maybe I take cock out and pee too. I don't know. <laughs> God what dang, got me all choked up on that one. It. Hi, Teddy. <laughs> you just got to learn to love the behavior of the modern day man. Oh, <laughs> is that what that is? The behavior it's of the modern day man. Are, they're liable to do any damn thing. Just sit back and watch. Get a chair and just park it and wait. Something's going to happen. Go to San Francisco and watch. I hear they have a real shit fit up. 
going on Oy, out there. Hey. Yeah. Oh, and to round out the crew, the one, the only, the Phantom 2. So, hey, booyah. <laughs> Under 20 hey, minutes. 18. Dang. Mm. Oh. Yeah, you're oh. pretty good at this. Mm. Freaking Nerd says that, that being frumpy is a form of birth control. Cool. <laughs> no, man. Are you fucking kidding me? Let's not, let's not play fantasy land on the dork table. We all know that. You just add alcohol and a grown man will fuck a ham sandwich. <laughs> Don't give me your stories about how good they got to look and all that horse shit. It's a bunch of crap. Crap. <laughs> <laughs> I'm smoking! <laughs> now that I've made my Supreme Court ruling on the matter... Back okay. to work, everybody. I need production out of my sleeves. What are you doing here sitting around listening to the radio? Get back to work. <laughs> yeah. Witcha! I'm yeah. serious. How life seems to me. Mm -hmm. Well, life I may seem out. serious to you, but it's not serious. Well, it was hot cereal this morning for me. Did you splash it again, Miss Mary? Did I splash? No, I yeah. didn't splash. I oh. I blurped. <laughs> oh, okay. A blurp is way safer than a splash. <laughs> splash could, oh, could get the dog all crazy. I know. Over. You get particles you know, all over days. the place. So. So. Danny, I've got something deep on my mind. Oh. Deep on my mind, Miss Mary. <laughs> a very deep subject. Deep. Deeper than <laughs> shit. You ready for this? <laughs> no, I'm not, but go for I it. Read, I read this here little line I'm going to read to you on the interwebs the other day, and it caught my attention, and I wanted to bring it up to you and see what you think. Okay. Sitting down? Uh-huh. Okay, close your robe. This is going to be wild. Okay. Reality cannot be born of fiction. Uh -huh. Yeah. Now, I don't know who wrote it, though. But that line in itself made me think, wait a minute. My whole life has been a fiction. Where'd the reality part go? <laughs> <laughs> was, was that what all the pot was for? I think so, so. I wouldn't really understand the ass raping I was taking through life as I passed through it. That's all fiction. It's fiction Maybe. with friction, but it is fiction. Yeah, pot is like mental Vaseline for the, you know, ass raping you're going to get as an adult in life. Mm. Mm. Mm hmm. And now, and he, here's even better. Now, instead of the government saying, hey, look, we lied so we could sell you synthetic shit that would kill you to get you where you are now. Now, oh, new discoveries indicate that pot's not so bad if you pay taxes on it when you buy it. <laughs> then it's good. Yeah, well, it even has yeah, even has medicinal value, but you got to pay your taxes and get your license, or it won't work. <laughs> wow, that's, <laughs> that's what the, makes it work. That's oh. the key to yeah. See, that is the key to life as we know it right now. Is if you want to kill people, all you got to do is go get a license to do it. Like James Bond, or only cop. not nearly as cool. Or a cop. But see, mm. while they, uh, medical people are all fucking killing us off, they got the media distracting the public with what the cops are doing. And what the cops are doing ain't shit compared to what the medical people are doing. Yeah. And the pigeons all just line up in big lines to get their chemotherapy and their flu shots. It's disturbing. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's, it's a disturbing time in my life. I'm looking at my peers wondering, wow, did you guys fall off the truck or what? Yeah, they hit their head, too, because somebody turned the corner really fast. Do you remember as a child uh, riding around in the back of a pickup and it was no big deal? I remember riding around as an adult in the back of a pickup and it was no big deal. Well, but yeah, there's that, too. I was born too. in 1959, so, hey, the, you know, I was a grown-up in the... 19 what 76 pretty much i remember riding and around in the back of a pickup and falling out of the back of a pickup and it was no big deal other than all of the damn stickers that i rolled through <laughs> yeah you weren't doing 80 miles an hour down the interstate five no i understand that but yeah eh, well 
I don't know. They've got everybody bamboozled with safety and statistics, and they make this shit up, and they tell you something, and you can't disprove it because the system said so, and they just fucking lie about everything. Hmm. You might not believe that, but it's true. <laughs> Is that not the irony of the fucking situation? So if if you know someone is a congenital liar, basically everything that they say is a lie, and they tell you honestly, I'm telling you the truth. Hmm? Uh, what about it? Do you just walk away? <laughs> well, personally, I, I don't attract that kind of mind in the first place. You know, mm. the, the people that try to fix me on the RLM, yeah. Would not be so ballsy in person. Let me tell you a little bit about that there, Miss Mary. They talk a big game. But when it comes right down to it in person, ah, nah. People don't have opinions about what your opinions are about. You got to talk to them. You know? I've never been verbally attacked over an opinion uh, to a level that went anywhere besides two, two people disagreeing about something. Except on the internet. Yeah. You know, when you don't have the uh, the ability to to make the eye contact and the right tone of voice to, you know, to slip this big cock of truth right in the butthole, you know, because you I don't want to miss and have to start the process all over. You want to do it right the first time. But it's not a shove it in there kind of thing. You got to kind of, you know, set your, your person up so they'll accept uh, it. And the funny thing about it is no matter how you do it, they never want it. <laughs> you, but you you sound like you've done this before. <laughs> many, many times. I oh. have been on both the receiving and the giving end of the truth dick of life, <laughs> let me tell you. And, Ow. Wow, it's, it's rejection. It's rejection all the time. No wonder everybody's going all gay. Oh. Oh, well, you know, you keep talking about all that rejection and all that other fun stuff, and I'm looking at a cute little puppy over on Mines. Well, okay, Mines is, I got slapped twice so far for posting Meet Your Straw Man on Mines. <laughs> <laughs> Where, I, you know, the, the name is a little misleading if you ask me, but <laughs> they ah. got potential. At least it's not Facebook, you know, hey. You know where that was going when you signed up. <laughs> Never mind. I guess. <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I'm listening to you and, <laughs> and trying not what to die mean, laughing you? at Grimmy. Because uh -oh. Grimmy wants is to know if a. Staging me? Yes, he I, wants to know if a no. genital liar is when you say six inches is 12 inches. <laughs> That's a fishing story. No, that's, that, what, that's, that's lying about your date and tackle. <laughs> that's, that's what bourbon is for. Oh. Because if you can do 12 shots of bourbon and remember what happened the night before, you needed more bourbon. <laughs> ah. Yeah. See, that's another way. You don't remember all that? <laughs> uh-uh. I'm going to, here, I'm going to do my impression of Hansel. <laughs> don't you dare. No. Yeah. Mm. Oh. <laughs> okay. Well, Please, I was no. gonna, you know, I was going to be a braggart and tell her about all the fun she had, but she can't remember because she drank too much. Ah. Mm. But unfortunately, the you know, my wife doesn't like to drink that much, so I have to be accountable. Oh. <laughs> yeah, pot's not the big um, uh, memory eraser that everybody thinks it is. <laughs> uh, no, it's not. Yeah, yeah, women can still count to three no matter how high they are. <laughs> <laughs> Don't ask me to count to four, though, damn it. What for? <laughs> what for? What? <laughs> oh, this is going so badly. <laughs> how, how did we get on the dirty train so early in I, the show? I, uh, hmm? You know where my mind went. Zoom. <laughs> Damn. I shouldn't invite Hank on so early in the show. No, you shouldn't. I'm oh, look. Stop. I woke up puppy. Or puppy. <laughs> <laughs> I woke up Chloe. <laughs> oh, That's okay. It was with puppies. Well, puppies. Rob works complaining about it. Well... But see, if, if Rob complains, then we don't get the bubbler anymore. Oh, cool. A beluga whale blowing air bubbles. How fun. You know, you know what? 
sometimes there are conversations on the RLN where I think, don't you people know that there's a private chat? <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, I think that occasionally. Oh, and I hate logging on and off, you know. So I just go find other things to do. Ah. <laughs> yeah, hit, you know, I'm wearing my ignore button out with a few players already, so I don't want to break it. You yeah, overachiever. So I'm. Yeah, well, I'm gonna be. You no, know, what do you call it? Frugal with oh. my blocks. Yeah. Frugal. Ooh, a no, frugal I block. That One. sounds like something very exotic or German. A frugal <laughs> block. I think I'll have a frugal block. <laughs> you still never answer my deep meditative question. Okay. Reality well, cannot be born of fiction. And, and then I went on my rant because here we are and we've lived our whole life in a fiction based on fiction. But who Surrounded by fiction. Who decides what's a fiction? If I think what I've got you, going on right now to. is real, then it's my real and it's not yours. So there. <laughs> Oh, so we're back to Schrodinger's cat. Yeah. Yeah, him well, too. Well, I ain't sticking my head in the box to find out if the damn thing's alive or not. You do it. <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> That's just like wrong. Said, I am not please? putting my head in a and box said, to see if there's a pussy in there. The girl, take the girl. I didn't do shit. Take her. I'm innocent, Your Honor. <laughs> That's how you. Oh, well, okay. There's the dirtier one to tell, but I'll, 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 I won't use it. Uh. I think it's a uh, Cheech and Chong. Mmm. Mmm. How do you? Plead? I, you've been charged with rape. How do you plead? I plead insanity, Your Honor. I was just crazy about that little slut. Oh, <laughs> ooh, I see how you are. Bad joke. At a bad time. <laughs> use, use a naughty boy. Naughty, well, naughty, naughty. Over this reality cannot be born a fiction line, and I, everything I see in life, to me, is all fiction. But other people I speak with, their version of the same thing I'm looking at to them is real. Well, and that's that's their thing. Right, but it's everybody I live amongst, too. Hmm. You know, it's not... It's, I have such a unique perspective on things that I don't really find anybody that agrees with me the way I see it. Do you know how you catch a unique rabbit? Unique up on it. Uh-huh. <laughs> what do you think? I was just for the other day, Miss Mary. I've been around the dork table for a long time. God. I've been at the dork so table so long, I think I helped write some of these jokes. <laughs> Oh, Grimmy, sometimes failing is succeeding. Because then, then you find well, out, I'm not going to do it like that again. If you survive, uh, the uh, hold my beer, watch this moment. <laughs> <laughs> Have you guys been watching those redneck um, YouTube links? Again? No, no, <laughs> no. Redneck fails. <laughs> I, I do need to go and look for, what's her face? Brenda, is that what her name is? That circles I'll tell you likes. One thing. Some of those redneck girls are awful pretty, but they're not very bright. Yeah, well, you know. You know why? Why? Because they're redneck girls. Oh. <laughs> I don't know why. I thought you'd know. You're the girl. No, because my neck's only red when I'm out in the sun a lot. <laughs> did I ever Did I ever tell you I got in trouble once in school for doing a book report on Christopher Columbus? <laughs> did you really? Yeah, teacher didn't want to let me finish reading it. Why's that? Well, my version of it was a little different than the historical perspective. I oh. went into the yeah, I went into the books and and I took their ideas and I just kind of tweaked them a little bit. Oh, so and you you sided with the engines, didn't you? No, no, no. I started way back when he was still in in um, Spain. See? Mm. Well, okay, and, and my perspective of it is why does a woman in that history, in that period of time, give a guy 90 men and three boats and a whole bunch of shit to go away and do something? And I thought, hmm, women financiers of the 1400s. No, that doesn't sound right. So what I came up with was Christopher Colombo was Columboing the Queen of Spain. And King Ferdinand caught wind of the illicit affair. Mm. So 
in her haste to, you know, help her friend, she said, Chris, get your Columbo the fuck out of here and take these guys for protection and just go that way. And don't come back if, unless you're rich. <laughs> oh. And they turned that into him discovering America, which he never set foot on. Wow. Mm. But at the time, my uh, in the early 70s, my English teacher did not appreciate my writing and wouldn't let me you know but you have that you have very as, very um unique writing skills you are a unique flasher well i see the world in my own personal way as everybody does and i still can't sometimes believe that my way is so different than everybody else's but the older i get <laughs> the more i'm noticing <laughs> ah yeah. Hey, there's a lot of yo-yos that believe Christopher Columbus discovered America. He didn't discover fucking anything. There no. was people living everywhere he went already. So what did he do? He just went somewhere. Yeah. I didn't discover Denmark when I got here. It was already fucking here. <laughs> no, you should have. You should have had a flag, and and planted it oh, in I the did. soil and said. I oh wait a minute no this is going I, dirty isn't it? Wasn't in soil. It works. <laughs> Got a thumbs up from the queen. <laughs> you may continue your good work, sir. <laughs> rejections in life you know don't let them get to you yeah because you still got your flagpole <laughs> exactly well, or or your flag other thing <laughs> i didn't know where to go with that one without getting you know, in real big trouble all right oh good so. lord Okay, the clean hippies. Yes, hippies were clean. They conserved water. They showered with a friend. That way they got their back scrubbed and everything. Do you know, I, I have this thing about remaking movies with different actors. Oh, right? you do? Cool. Yeah. Oh, good Lord. Like, uh, I was just thinking the other day about how much more fun Rain Man would have been if if uh, Sylvester Stallone would have been uh, the brother. <laughs> oh, Charlie see, yeah. see, and... And I think I think Rain Man would have been quite interesting if Sam Kinison would have done oh, Dustin Hoffman's mm -hmm. role. Yeah, but he was already dead by the time they did the film. Oh, good was choice, he? though. Yeah, yeah, but could you see that Stallone as Rain Man? You know, as Charlie Babbitt in, in Rain Man? Yeah, I could see him as it, yeah. <laughs> well what's that it is how that north korea is going to get nuked because they don't have a central bank hmm bob little fucking uh compliance into those damn gooks are they wait gooks or what yeah are they? yeah they what? were no that was yeah. the vietnamese oh. that were gooks right ah, crap i always get my slangs all fucked up anyway the point is you cannot have a a successful society unless you have complete and total dominance over the money system. And these North Koreans don't want to play, so I say nuke them. Uh, Make join the team. Okay, little Trumple. That's the, hey, that's the fucking uh, majority of thought out there in the real world. Mm. That's what I read every day. The majority of it is fuck them before they can fuck us and the bad side is there's nothing to fuck them over it's all about they don't have a central bank well, just like Gaddafi just like uh, in Libya just like in Syria just like in Iran it's all about money and got nothing to do with freedoms or Muslims or all this other stuff it's all staged rigged organized presented to you it's a scam 
Oh, I mean, not that the violence isn't real, but you'd be amazed what people will do for a bowl of rice and a glass of water if you give them enough money. Yeah. Especially yeah. when you tell them that, oh, we know that you have all of this wonderful stuff here in this country, but in order for you to actually utilize it and make money off of it, you're going to have to borrow <laughs> from us to oh, be able to have to all of the equipment in order to do such things. Okay. And then, well, you know, you're going to be in so in debt that, well, you guys really aren't going to make a profit off of it, but we sure as hell are. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I'm just, I'm looking at Rosie O'Donnell in any movie is swell. Yeah, she's swelling. Rosie and, O'Donnell in yeah. any movie. Yeah, I'd like to see her doing the sex scenes with uh, Donald Trump in uh, All the Right. Yeah, in, in, a remake, in a remake of The Postman Always Rings Twice. No, how about Fifty Shades of Grey? <laughs> Ew. I don't, I couldn't last like 20 <laughs> minutes of that crap. And it was, well, wait a minute. I don't get into snuff films. I, I never saw it. Torture. I never read the I book. Know. I don't, I've had people tell me, you really need to read that. No, I don't. Yeah, they probably want to tie you up and do stuff to your cha-cha. Mm, Be no, careful. No, I don't. <laughs> well, yeah, but you know, the other, the other player, they've got their mind going, so... Mm. Got to what make and, and think about if that's a woman bringing it up to you. Whoa, whoa, <laughs> well, you got some serious things happening in your life. <laughs> mm. Let me tell you, either way, if a man or a woman brought it up to me, my wife's gonna slap them if she hears it. <laughs> Good. Good. I know my wife. No, 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 you can't do that. <laughs> Somebody needs to suck it to him, suck it to him, suck it to him, suck it to him. There you, you know, go. And, as people, boy, we have been um, reprogrammed to uh, misunderstand behavior from other people. It's been guided through films and shit. You see it one way, and it, in reality, it, if you think about it long enough, it's something else. Yeah. You know, and nothing is always the same to everybody anyway. But they, they're, that join the group thing, you know, like I was bitching about Facebook before the show, it's it's too hard to walk away from the crowd for enough people to ever really do it physically to ever make a change. We're we're stuck with this. This is what we have forever. No. Okay, why do you say no? I say yeah because this is what we're doing. That's your so, reality. That's not mine. Well, okay, my reality is still to some degree based on the people that sell me the money to use or rent me the money to use to buy shit stuff like that that's bigger than believing in a republican or a democrat as a potus that's the crap i don't go for the fact that these idiots believe they're trading you know five trillion dollars a day even though i don't believe it they believe it uh -huh. and even if they don't believe it the people believe it hey free and nerds is that is that cactus at albuquerque I took a wrong turn at Albuquerque. You took a wrong turn somewhere, all right. <laughs> Man, we're going to be looking for you for days. You are out there in the weeds. Yes, I am. You are in the tall grass with the big plants. It does not have to be very tall, though, because I ain't a short person. <laughs> <laughs> all I got to do is scrunch down. They can't find me. You can't find me. Yeah, did they ever ask you, how the hell did you get over that wall? <laughs> <laughs> Nobody's ever asked me that. Uh, my my little brother brought that up over the summertime. About an old, you know, when we were younger thing. Ah. And, and I scaled this big wall and nobody could figure out, because I'm a little, so little, how the hell did you get up there to do it? I was like the David Copperfield of 1972. There you go. <laughs> Disappeared. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I see. Yeah. A, I'm. I'm. Over, I know. You squirrel. know. You're used to this. Yes, a squirrel. Um, uh, I'm scrolling over on Facebook because I had a notification. <laughs> oh no! Were and, they notifying that you're you're late on your payments? No, my brother Mikey had shared a meme. 
that uh, uh hey brother mikey what's up yeah he said we didn't need armed guards when i was younger a few of those cape crusaders and some rulers were more than enough and it's a picture of nuns <laughs> They had uh, yeah. they had them freaking wooden rulers with the metal edge on them. By well, golly, you didn't do anything that they, cause they come after your ass. You ever seen a mean a pissed off penguin? It's not pretty. <laughs> no, I don't live that far north or south <laughs> or whatever fucking direction they live. I live in Denmark. Penguins, really? Well, that's what we call Kansas, nuns. Penguins in Kansas too. Yeah, that's what we called oh. nuns, was penguins. Climate change is real. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got a, got penguins in Kansas, all right. Uh -huh. Hey, wait a minute. Isn't that where the Wizard of Oz was at? Uh-huh. Yeah, they're uh, always whizzing around uh, out here. There's, there's always more to your story than we ever really know about. Yeah, I know. Layers. layers of truth. Uh -huh. You know what I want? What? I want government protection. You do. Yeah, everybody else wants it. I want it. What is it? You don't need government protection. You just need to find a crowd full of nuns in their little habit thingies. And yeah. and they just got to have their rulers in their hand. There's your protection, by golly. Ain't nobody going to piss off on them nuns. Just say it. Oh, so you want me to put my control into the hands of other women other than Circle? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't think she's going to go for this. Women that haven't gotten any in a long time. <laughs> hey, you know what else is on my list of important things? What's that? Uh, did you know these idiots want more nuclear? Really? Yep. Did you know, and I'll top it off, they make it even more interesting, there are people in the world that don't know who Nikola Tesla was. Got oh, no yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So now, instead of free energy for the planet, which he actually made possible 100 years ago, we got people trying to make the use out of wind turbines and solar panels instead of burning oil. But the problem is, to me, you got to burn oil to make the shit, to make the turbines and make the solar panels. So you're still stuck in your in your same thing it doesn't get you anywhere in fact in the long run i think it's more it's more expensive and it beats the hell out of the birds mm, yeah well see and that's why they have those those uh wind turbines that look like trees and mm -hmm. the leaves are each individual one is a turbine and so they're not quite so harmful to the little birdies well i think a lot of it is people think too big mm-hmm you know, in the first place, if, if we weren't so crowded together in these big monstrosity cities and shit, and it was just smaller, and you had a windmill in your backyard, probably be enough wind to make enough energy for your home. Well, and out here in the boonies, everybody had a windmill in their yard, but it Once ran the well. Time. Right, right, right. And, and there's see, quite and, a few that as, still do. And as the, the cash takes over your society and runs you into the shitter, this is the results of it. And then they tell you, oh, well, things went wrong. No, things went as planned. They are fucking us, all of us. Yeah, but once you realize that, then you can start making plans for yourself because you just plain cannot make plans for someone else because they're going to go, no, I don't like that. Okay, fine. Uh, then come up with your that's own. That's a good idea. Yeah, so make plans uh, for yourself, and if others like what you're doing, then they will emulate oh, no, it. And if they no. do not like what you're doing, maybe they'll get some ideas and do their own thing. No, I, I, I even read one of my results of my uh, helping people on the RLM the other day. <laughs> mm. Well, yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, I, I remember I posted, that. Yeah, well... I'm not, I told you, I don't really care what people say. It, it doesn't matter to me. I'm not the one losing anything. So I thought reposting it would give the people that don't like me just that much more giggle time. Ah. You know, so, uh, you can't convince people that think something is wrong, that is wrong. That's the way they are. They believe it. That's what they do. Can't stop them. Oh. Ah. Well. But. You As know. a society, and it's been proven time after time, or ever since I was a child, 
every major thing in the in the news has all turned out to be bullshit. Well, yeah. Or at, maybe the event took place, but it was never explained to you the way it truly happened. And what you did see, that was manipulated too. Well, yeah, because they've got it. I mean, it's just like anybody. It's like the story, you know, you're in a race with somebody and you beat them. Now, you could say, yeah, I beat you in the race. And they could say, hey, I came in second. Even if it's just those two, you know, it's saying you came in second doesn't sound nearly as bad as I lost or I came in last. So, oh, you know, it's it's how that. you, it's how it's phrased. Oh, how it's phrased. Mm -hmm. Well, you know what? Why would a fact have to be phrased a certain way to attract us? No, nah, it's just, I think you're right about people just ain't ready. No. Whatever ready is, they're not there yet. They might even believe they are, but even, I don't know, I give you grief about it, driver's license. Um, because... I'm willing to not do it. Well, I have a license to drive. That's like your license to kill. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Which can no be difference. the same thing, actually. I don't <clears throat> use it, though. And well, the FBI turned it down. The CIA turned it down. And my five turned me down. Good Lord, the Pope turned me down. Okay. The Jews don't even want to give me a license to kill. I don't want to talk about it. It's depressing. <laughs> 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 so... Well, you know, and all this gun law shit, what's wrong with people? What a bunch of dumbasses over nothing, right? And then the cop, then there's stories. The cops are standing outside waiting for the gun fire to quit. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> and here we are in 2018, and you got to tell people old shit like, well, the SCOTUS ruled years back that the police have no duty to protect you. That's yeah. on them. They don't want to do it. That's on them. They don't have to do shit. All they got to do is shoot you. Yeah. And then it say, I feared for my people. life. But, Mary, it does not seem to bother people that year after year after year, time after time, the cops keep walking away from all these fucking shootings. Mm, yeah. Well, could that be because that is what they're supposed to fucking do? Is it too hard to believe that the people that run around acting like a bunch of pigs are a bunch of fucking pigs. And you need to eliminate them from your society, not build them up and get more. You're going to suffer for that. Mm -hmm. But society doesn't seem to catch on. They want Now they want United Nations troops. And oh, they, I've read so much crap about what everybody wants. Violence, violence, violence. What? Great culture. And what other crap is there? Feminism, mag towels. The world has gone to shit in six years, I'll tell you that. See, that and, and I'm going to tell you the same thing that a doctor told someone that, that, you know, guy went into the doctor and he said, Doctor, it hurts every time I do this. And the doctor looked at him and said, Well, stop doing that. Oh, it's hard not to be on the internet and not see all this crap day well, after day. Well, you'll it have to. Your, it makes your tumor swell to the point of, hmm, perhaps I should not look. <laughs> well, I try not well, to make my tumor do, swell. So All I got to do for reality is take a walk downtown, go get some at a store. There you go. But on the interwebs, wow, what a world. No wonder people are insane. Mm. But to not want to know about your straw man and see the link and not open it to find out what it is to have that kind of uh, non-acceptance behavior about something you haven't even seen and then to have an opinion about it afterward without looking at so what, what, where'd that come from? That's that five-year-old that won't eat broccoli because it looks funny. Yeah. Until you make hey, it fun. I was, yeah, I was just a lot smarter than a five-year-old, and I knew how to trick kids into doing shit they didn't want to do. Make it look like it was their idea. Or make it look fun. Just like the system does to the people. Well, yeah. And they I mean, never it's human nature. 30, they never get more than 30 or 35% tops for any one idea on any given subject. It doesn't matter what it is. 
you can't even split this pie into 50 anymore. It's so segregated in the little groups now that there's a party for every party in the party. <laughs> well, yeah. It's ridiculous. Well, then how come your average guy doesn't realize that the point to all this is to keep you separate and never understand how banking is really done? Because once you step in, you get your toe into the banking thing. And how can you ever turn back and not go, wow, what else did they do? I, maybe I'm weird. Yes, you are what, weird. I'm, I'm just the one that went, hey, wait a minute. If they did this, what else did they do? I want to know. I have an inquiring mind. <laughs> well, you are weird. <laughs> and there you go. Did yeah, your butt but just pucker again? I don't know. But I'll just get, I'll have to open me up a can of spinach. There you go. go, 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 go. There you go. Yeah, I'll jib the thing and lower the mizzen or something. Yeah, what? yeah, whatever. Yeah, I'll Arr. that. <laughs> Arr. Arr. <laughs> I do that every time, every day except Friday. I always forget by Friday. You go, oh, you're the wrong day. You go, okay. The next time, you go, oh, you're, it's not Friday. And then Friday comes, I forget to do it. Because <laughs> I got told not, never mind. I'm mm. learning to comply, Miss Mary. How am I doing? <laughs> mm, you're not doing very well. By the fifth time, I stop. <laughs> oh, it takes that long. Okay. Sometimes, sometimes ten. <laughs> it depends on what it is. Mmm. Ooh. Ooh. I'm looking at this thing that Grimmy posted. About the what disposable cameras. Those damn disposable cameras. God, I would get some really amazing pictures, or I thought they were amazing pictures, and the frickin' things didn't turn out. It's like, how oh. in the hell am I going to have photographic evidence so I can blackmail them later? Damn it. Oh, I didn't know you were like that. Well, I am. There's a new side of you I, I've yet to encounter. Well, hmm. I used it on my children. <laughs> wow. Really? Well, yeah. Like, like my youngest... Um, yeah. When when she started getting really serious with her hubby or her now hubby, I showed him a picture of her when she was like two and a half, and she had her face oh. pressed up against the front window, and she oh. she went, oh. and so her cheeks poofed out really big. <laughs> <laughs> She's a window licker. She's proud of it, and he just mm -hmm. laughed and said, "Yeah, I know." Oh. <laughs> I was just the recipient of. <laughs> The burning thing. The burning thing? Ooh. Yes. Oh, I'm treated so badly. What What should I do? Hey. I think you should you... suffer. <laughs> <laughs> Circles is great. Gives you chocolate cake. Hi, Becky. I am. I see you have joined over here in the chitty chat. So... You think they got enough of them there, immigrant refugees in America yet to do some disturbance hey becky uh no they don't because you know well you like yeah actually yes we do but i think most of us are immigrants slash refugees and so therefore disturbances will happen yeah but every time i try to talk about a, a over there over yonder kind of topic you keep reminding me that i live in a quiet place and i should mind my own fucking business yeah so mind your own damn business dork table and we talk I thought words would work. <laughs> Apparently, I forgot the rules. When you have a female partner, things are not always what they seem to be. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Women, good Lord. I See, how, you know, and then I see all this sex butt shit on the RLM all the time. Man, I wouldn't give up five minutes of that freaking crazy woman for a robot. No fucking way. I'd miss something fun with Cirque because yeah. she's human. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't care how robot they get. They're never going to be as wackadoodle as real women. How could you? <laughs> wow. I don't know. And all I see, in my, I'm, maybe I'm just too old. Maybe I'm just like a relic in, in the 21st century, and, and I'm hearing these fellas talking about, I'm going to go fuck me a machine. And go, mm, oh, my God. Wow, because I grew up with, hey, let's go out to the bar and see if we can get somebody. And yeah. here we are in the 21st century, and it's the same bar, but go to the bar to fuck a robot. And I, 
Mm, yeah. I'm not that. I I'm fairly liberal. <laughs> okay, not very, but a little bit, but not that. No, I I. And I'm not passing a moral judgment. If that's what you want to do, is fine. What I don't like is I always got to be reading about it all day. <laughs> ah. And I don't want to block these guys because I like you know, I like them. But fuck, when they go on these robot sex fucking rampages, it's like listening to women talk about a period. For fuck's sake, get over it. Period is a punctuation mark. Okay, cycle. Yeah. Uh, you want me to, I could be more descriptive if you like, uh, break out the thesaurus, but uh, no. <laughs> I was trying to avoid See, it. And that's a period. It's a punctuation mark. It's like, <laughs> well, <laughs> if okay. you don't leave me the hell alone, cause I'm on my period, I'm going to dot your eye. <laughs> well, actually I'm, I'm going to give Goober a little help here today with my opinion. Anyway, what I would call help. And I was talking to Mary before the show about Goober's got an idea. Uh -huh. Now, he's an inventor. He's uh -huh. a maker. I'm a maker like that, too. But I have an extra talent for conniving, my Jewish side. I like, like to do deals and, you know, hey, what can I do? If I do that, we can do this. And that, that, that. Well, not every inventor is like that. And I think Goober has a plan, but it's not the kind of plan other people would assume because he's that's not what he's after. If that made sense, it's not it's not the way it seems, in my opinion. There's more to this. Like Larry Woods. Mm -hmm. Larry's not looking to make money as partners are. And there's only the system is so bogged down in oil and, and uh, what's that other shit? Uh, money. The monetary no, no, system is just no. so douched up that nobody no. realizes that if you do something just for the sake of doing it and if it's beneficial for others, then you share it with others yeah. and no, no money needs to patents. change hands. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I was going to patents. Money, patents. Yeah, money too. I didn't mean no. I meant that wasn't what was. I was yeah. looking for the word because I so rarely use it. But these things have fucked us up, not helped us. Yeah. And, and the deceit creates all the problems that we live with. Well, and there's and, no way to actually do this and be of any help to anybody else without money. So you're stuck with this brilliant idea. And if these fuckers ever got their hands on it, they'd crush it just like they did hemp. We're doomed. There's no way to get out of this right now. We're stuck in it. Ah. And when I say that to you, you go, ah, well, look around you, Dad. Well, I'm just as stuck here with this fucking electricity in Denmark as it was in the States. Mm -hmm. And this is a lot smaller place. So there's a lot less people interested in, in uh, making their own shit. Yeah, and see, the problem is everybody thinks that we need to change everything. Just bam, change it right now. And, and when we do that, then everything will be better. No, you need to incremental. You need to work your way to it, and you need to set the uh, good foundation. And then when you're ready, then you can just go, okay, boom, there's my, I have built this, and leave me the hell alone because, yeah. But, and that didn't make a whole hell of a lot of sense either. But I just, <laughs> everybody yeah, keeps saying that everything is just so fucked up. And, yeah, you know, if you look at the great big picture that everybody keeps putting in your face, yeah, it's fucked right. up. Right. Dang. But if you look at it at very close at your life, what's going on in your face right now, if it's not like that, then build on what you wish as opposed to constantly focusing on the crap that they're putting in front of your face. Well, that's the way I get treated at, back because the crap I'm trying to put in people's face is very uh, slappy. You know, it's like, hey, get that out of my face. Because I know things like the medical system is a scam. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. The financial system, it's a scam, all of it. Markets, well, rigged markets, Rothschilds, big banks. This thing isn't designed for us to be in. We, we support it by spending. Yeah. And if you know where your dollars are going, you might be able to cripple somebody, but if you try to boycott Israel, then they make a law that says you can't boycott Israel. Well, and that's why you don't just stand up and go, I'm boycotting Israel. You just do it. You don't have I to announce that, it to it. Babe, we're talking about a 70-year war over a 
bullshit land grab disguised as religion. And it, it's it's gone on and on and on all these years. My mother used to fucking believe it. Oh, I know. And I got a brother that believes it. And I've had right. discussions with him. And I've told him, discussion. yeah, there's 12 tribes of Israel. And they're the chosen ones. What were they chosen for? Were they chosen to be the pariah? Were they chosen to be the ones that nobody should deal with? They don't tell you that, do they? They just say, we're the chosen ones, as if it's a good thing. Maybe it's not a good thing. Maybe they're chosen to be avoided because they are not so nice people. Uh, that's probably it. And I'm one of them, so there you go. Yeah, your theory holds water there, a little messy. Oh, no. Oh, but, uh, well, hi. Well, still, the point still remains is that we are here in this time in history. Okay. Yeah. And most folks, whether they, oh, I'm on the internet, and, oh, I see all this and I see all that, don't read anything. I get shit slapped at me all the time by people that I know did not look at what I posted. They just saw a headline or there wasn't even enough time to have seen the link. So uh -huh. how do you have an opinion without seeing what, you know, there you go. Yeah. But then I do that when I see Fox News or CNN. I just, my tumor starts going wiggle, 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 wiggle. Ah. Something about it. I keep MSM, yeah, CNN, CBS, ABC, all that, Fox, all that shit from the States. Mm -hmm. Even when I was there watching it, it was like, ah, oh, fuck, this stuff is sickening. Bars, yeah. they always had TVs and bars. Oi. Yeah. Yeah, they have them oh, yeah. in waiting rooms, too. And before we get into something else, Becky, that is an absolutely amazing <laughs> picture of the moon. That's gorgeous. Bless you, bless you. Thank you for sharing that, lady. That's a gorgeous picture. Did you click on? No, I bet you didn't because I'm you don't click on than things. You. Fine art, <coughs> America. It's an orange moon with a chunk out of the top. It's gorgeous. Is that the moon? How do you know mm -hmm. it's the moon? It's not white. I see the moon. The moon sees me. It, yeah. I don't know. Because Becky said I have to trust well, her. Isn't this going to make all the white people pissed off because the moon ain't white no more? It's racist. You know what I saw in an application today? What's that? Non-Hispanic white as a ethnicity. Oh, yeah. I was going, man, if only if only Jose was here, my friend. Boy, he, could, <laughs> he would bust a vein reading this shit, man. <laughs> it would non-Hispanic, and they're trying to tell you something with this, people, but you're not getting it. Why, yeah. What that means in fucking real life is English comes behind Spanish as language as far as people speaking it. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, this isn't about the color of your skin. It's about the language you speak. They they lie to you. Yeah, you'll see. Just eh. I know I sound like a whack doodle, but eh, it's all true. Yeah. Oh, freaking uh, free enslaved was talking about well when he was still freaking nice nerds. Picture. Um, he was talking nice. about uh, batteries and and recharging and all. Have you seen um the videos and stuff about the kids down in Africa that? their playground equipment actually charges so when the kids go out and play during recess they charge batteries and then they take those batteries home and that is their electricity for the evening in their home it's way cool people are being inventive elsewhere well they're i'm sure they're being inventive here as well but we don't get to see it but I thought it was just cool as hell, you know, and I've also seen ones where you know with the bicycle thing that you the stationary bike that you pedal and it it um, charges up a battery and then if you wish to watch TV you just keep pedaling to watch TV so you are no longer a couch potato mm. you are a recumbent bike or whatever kind of bike and you have to work for your programming well so. they have one of those um, spas here on the way to town uh -huh. you know in the middle where yeah, where the grocery and all the you know businesses, they've got one of those exercise places. And I always wondered why they don't um, do that with a generator, you know, charge people to come and pedal it. Yeah. 
if you're going to pay to go exercise, why don't you pay to go make some fucking electricity and make some rich prick richer instead of just, you know, wearing out some rubber and needing replacement parts. But Or just that, get one for your home and then you generate enough electricity. I don't think it's uh, legal here to be off the grid like that. I'm not positive. Well, the, there's yeah, there's lots the, of places that it's not legal role, to do yeah. that. The rural role is separate from the city, and I think we're technically in the city and bound to some kind of city usage crap. You know, te- Den- Denmark's very tax lovers. Oh, they love their taxers. Mm. <laughs> yeah, mm. it's a it's a pricey place to be if you're on the dollar. Die out here. Ah. Yeah, the exchange the exchange on a U, on a U.S. dollar today in a foreign country is ooh, it's embarrassing. You go, wow, ooh, I didn't know I didn't know I needed to bring so much Vaseline to your bank, Mister. You did not tell me. <laughs> uh, you know what? I posted up probably a hundred times in the last couple of years is the Bank of America refusing cash payment for a mortgage. Yeah. And what that should tell anybody with a understanding of money is what you're using is not yours, and it's not money. Oh. Not technically. It's no. called money so that we can identify it, but it's not money. No. Well, that's – and they had, there's a wonderful series on uh, Netflix. I think it's called Rotten. I think that was the one that had it it had like five or six different episodes, but I do believe one of them was about money. Yeah. And if no, it, I don't doubt if it, it. and it if it wasn't rotten there was Netflix has got several really good ones lately that I've been while I'm sitting down and crocheting, I have those ah. going. And uh it was um it, no, no, it was uh the Zeitgeist. That's what it was. Because I guys. Yeah, last well, last weekend I spent a day basically planted on my backside except for when I went to change laundry or stir supper or whatever. But planted yeah. on my backside, crocheting and watch I watched three Zeitgeist videos on Netflix and they talked yeah. about money and and the creation thereof and how nonsensical it is and how we all bought into it but the we really can't i mean we gotta we gotta take some of the onus on ourselves just because Mm -hmm. we grew up in a society that that's that was accepted as gospel truth yeah because they just killed kennedy for trying to put it back the original way from pre fucking whatever 1913 no, before even that, they they knew the central bank was coming a long time before that. Well, yeah, because it was, was it um, which two one? other presidents were either assassinated or tried to assassinate them for printing their own money and, and straying away from that central bank idea. Was way that back. was that? Um, I don't know the names. I I'd have to Google and start getting all you know brainiac, and I, I figured I'd smoke and just make shit up as I went along with oh, you. Oh, there you go. Well, there was, I don't remember if it was Thomas Jefferson or if it was Andrew but Jackson, one of them. We, yeah, J- Jackson, but we have a room full of nerds and geeks and... And they uh, know how to look dorks. stuff up. And if they, yeah, if we're wrong, somebody will correct us. I, I'm, I give the RLM credit for that. Well, there was, there was a central bank and then it got um, done away with. Mm-hmm. And then in 1913, they did it again, yeah, along with again. along with oh. the income tax. And then the income tax, actually, the the uh, Supreme Court <laughs> ruled it unconstitutional, and it went away for three years, and then they gradually just kind of snuck it back in again because the Supreme Court said that it was not properly ratified. <laughs> yes, Grimmy, yeah, I I'll, know I'll, that they're super socialism propaganda, but I tell you what, just because they're super socialism propaganda doesn't mean oh, yeah, I can't get yeah. kernels of truth out of there because everything is based yeah, on at least one kernel of truth, and then they go yeah, w- I, after that. I see. I didn't understand because there's a lot of times I'll see a link like you do mm-hmm. where I look past all the garbage and I go, holy fuck, they're telling you right there. You just got to know which part of it's nonsense. Yeah. And, well, okay. Well, we're 
I don't know, wired differently is the words that I choose to use, and we see it differently. Yeah. But Grim's got a good point because he's corrected me a few times on things that attracted me, but because I know what I know, of course, I'm only going to see the shit that fills in my void. I'm not going to see the negative crap that's supposed to control me because it doesn't work. That's the whole point of me. I just comply enough to shut them the fuck up. There but you I go. Don't believe, I don't believe two words they tell me. Lovely Kate no. just shared the, yeah. The, well, well, oh, the, yeah. can I read what she says? Oh, Go right ahead. Oh. <clears throat> yeah. The bold, the bold effort the present bank has made to control the government, the distress it has wantonly produced, are not premonitions of the fate that awaits the American people, should they be deluded into a perpetuation of this institution, the Bank of the United States, or the establishment of another like it. Andrew Jackson, December 20, ah. 1834. Thank mm. you, Miss Kate. Yeah, she done wonderful. But, okay. And then Free Enslaved shared a, a seven-part thing on uh, money versus currency. Mm -hmm. Well, Aye, aye, aye. Well, okay, it's it's such a complicated sounding problem, and I've cut it down into just one thing. Oh yeah, yeah. Fractional reserve banking. Yeah. The, the, it well it banking paper, period. It, banking period. Yeah, because of interest. Well, yeah, well I've got a theory that my fucking Jew people teamed up with the Catholic people in a secret meeting that the rest of us weren't told ever took place. Yeah, cuz because we weren't we aren't in the club. Something in the Catholic religion doesn't allow them to use money the way the Jews do. So they borrowed it from them. Uh, it's like yeah, like rent. They're renting a Jewish way of uh, doing commerce from the Jews. Because if the Jews don't let you do it, you can't. That's why the Muslims don't do it. That's why the Americans hate the Muslims so much. Is beyond all this crap about refugees and gang rapes and shit like that. Their fucking banking is done straight across the board. No interest. Blah blah blah. They just do banking. Mm -hmm. Well, America can't make any money off that. You can't tax free, Mary. <laughs> I know. If something is free, how do you tax it? I know. It's, it's just, a, yeah. It, it's an ignored thing about American society. I know from living in it all those years. Is if you ever try to do anybody a favor and not charge them for it, mm -hmm. more people are interested in that than if you charge them for it. Yeah. Well, yeah, you got to put a price on it or they're okay, going to say, you, oh, I'll it has you, no value. <laughs> no, there's a, a difference working, between price and value, sweetheart. Yeah, I'll give you a working physical experience that brought me to this. Okay. Uh, I was 18. I was living in Crescent City, California, and uh, no work. I didn't want to work for anybody, but I had a few bucks, so I thought, oh, I'll take an ad out in the newspaper, and I'll advertise to get work. And I come up with this brilliant idea. Young man will do anything reasonable for cash. And I didn't write legal. I said reasonable. Mm -hmm. And what I attracted was older people that had, you know, jobs in their homes. Like uh, one one place had a, a, a hill they needed mowed, but nobody that lived there in the house could physically do it. Mm -hmm. Now, if I would have just wandered up and done it for them without being paid for it, would have attracted more interest in that than... Oh, they they hired this kid to come do the hill. Yeah. I don't know if I'm explaining that in a way that makes sense to anybody but me. But if you just knocked on somebody's door and said, <clears throat> "Oh, hey, you know what? That hill looks like needs a, a good mowing." Yeah. yeah. What kind of medication are you on, young man? <laughs> well, it depends on where you're at when you do that too. And I uh, well, of course, any, any place with the population. Come on, Mary. Let's let's be real. Let's get beyond it. We've been doing this for almost two years. Yeah. Well, you, a oh, larger population will be about, suspicious. Okay, talking two ways: the the population I live in, 
the population I came from. When mm-hmm. it's negative, it's 99% of the time from where I came from. When it's positive, it's about the one I'm in. Ah. And a big, huge part of that is because I don't speak the language. Ah. Yeah, okay. and whatever written propaganda there is that I visually see all the time, I don't know what I'm seeing, so it doesn't work on me. Oh, there you go. Okay, here's one. I got it because I saw it while you were starting several <laughs> subjects ago. <laughs> I don't know. And you just shit. kept talking, and I couldn't. I just couldn't yeah. interrupt in. But oh, you're so nice to me. Once in a while. Okay, so I don't share my thoughts because I think it will change the minds of people who think differently. I share my thoughts to show people who already think like me that they're not alone. And you know what? That applies to so many. You know, a lot of people sit there and go, but your your speech offends me. And they don't understand <laughs> that their speech offends wow. others. You know, it's just they're so tunnel visioned. And... And so, you know, when they do, when you have someone that is, is um, being obnoxious or whatever, and they're out there yelling all kinds of obnoxious things, a lot of times they get ignored. A lot of times, you know, it's like the, the crazy guy in the bed sheet with the placard saying, the end of the world is nigh. A lot of people give them a wide berth. But then when you get another guy that shows up basically the same, then they're somewhat emboldened. And, you know, it's kind of a snowball effect. It's not necessary, and it's like a video I saw way back. You know, it's not the first person that is the real leader in anything. The one that came up with the idea or the one that was doing something. It's the first one to follow them. And then how others observe how the initial person treated their first follower. That's how things get started. You know, because if, if, if you go out and you do something wild and crazy and all of a sudden somebody joins in with you and you push them away, then most others will stay away from you. But if you put your arm around them and say, hey, and if you try like this and you're encouraging, then others will start gravitating towards you. And I think that's, you know, that's that. That's the herd mentality. You know that everybody well, talks about, but they don't. They don't necessarily see the good side of herd mentality. They just see the bad side, and there is a good side to herd there mentality. Is. Okay. Well, there is. I mean, if you if you get someone started, I see it all the time out here. But you know, once again, I'm in a very remote area, or not really mm. remote, but small towns and that kind of stuff. You see someone walking along the road and picking up trash. And then someone stops and they start helping them pick up trash. And next thing you know, you got about 10, 15 people out there picking up trash just because one person started it. And next thing you know, you got all these other people pitching in and helping. You know what they do where I live? What's that? They got trash cans. Yes, there are trash and, cans. And but apparently you know what, you know trash cans have that, force fields for some people. The people that pass by the trash cans, you know what they do them with them? Mm-mm. They they fill them with trash, and then these other people come and take that trash and make it go away. Yeah, and that's way cool when people are taught that that's what you're supposed to do with them. But then you right. have these it's individuals that will the... go about ten steps away from the trash can and drop their bottle on the ground, and it's like, dumbass, did you not notice? No, they didn't notice. Why? Because their face was buried in their freaking little portable electronic device. Hey, Dort. See you, Dort Cakes. Take care, man. Have an awesome day. So so long, and thanks for all the fish. You lasted an hour and 22 with us, so. Yeah. I like that. I like the hitchhiker's guide. (laughs) That's true. That's true. I don't know. Well, you, oddly enough, you think a lot more like my wife than like me in some ways. There you go. And in some ways, you think a lot like I do. You just explain it in a different way. It, at the end, it's really the same to me, but it sounds like we're talking about two different things for a while. Yeah. 
Well, that's because I talk, I explain it in girly talk, and you explain it in flasher talk. It, it, but we both, <laughs> we both live in a, a comfortable community setting that a lot of people on the RLM don't have anymore. That's been overcrowded and taken away from them. Mm. That's how, I, when I look back at the city, I feel a lot um, more space. I can feel that there's more space for me. You know, I don't feel so crowded. I and and under the microscope about what are you doing and da 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 da, da all that shit. Because the way I dress and my hair, I always attract people to look because of the way I look. Yeah, because you're weird. You can't. Well, to them, yeah. Well, then that's the way. I guess so. It's sad. <laughs> <laughs> but it's just a matter of not wanting to cut hair and shave a face occasionally. It's not like um, it's not like I carry an M16 around and you know shoot up girls. Well, true. But there's probably a group or links on there of guys that walk around doing those things. <laughs> well, there, yeah, there could be. There's, there's, you know, if you can think of it, there's probably someone out there that's already done it, and it's like, wow. Hey, and then how come whenever I bring up all these weirdo groups out there, you always shut me up with, well, you don't live in that, so blah, 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 blah. And well, get, hey, wait a minute. I lived in it for 50 years. I saw it morph into what it became. It's just the last six are so uh, blatantly different than the first 50. Well, 53, four. Mm. Okay. Mm -hmm. from, from the distance, the view I have of the states is so much broader because when you're, when I was, when I'm talking to me, when I'm in it, I'm, I don't give a shit, I'm doing my life. Yeah. Just like the next guy. But I knew a lot of this crap I know now, but. I didn't engage the system, so that was my survival method from it. Oh. Yeah, like not driving with a license. That was a choice I made. And don't think people didn't scold me for not having one, but I told them, I won't ever drive your car if you're worried about it. It's not your, you know, shit. I took it. I've got nothing to do with you. Hmm. You know, I was that good of a driver. I felt confident in saying, hey, if anything goes wrong, I'll take the fucking shit for it. So, but I was a good driver. I was an excellent driver. Miss Mary, I, I drove very, very slow around the driveway. Ah, Kmart <laughs> sucks. <laughs> yeah, my boxer shorts at Kmart. <laughs> boxer shorts. But anyhow, I don't know. Where, where would the hell I was going with that crazy mess? But I have no idea. We're, well, we're here in this uh, comfort zone in World War III. And pretending that there isn't a World War III going on is just as naive as uh, exploiting it. Yeah. For a profit. Make money on it. You know, I can find ways to do that instead of what I do. But my wife would frown on it. And yeah, I she would. Yeah, right. But just because you're capable of doing certain things doesn't mean that you should do them. And it's a it's a razor wire to walk on. Hey, because we got a training society... day, bud, over here in the RLM. Uh, right. But mm. it's because society is this razor wire thing that we collectively walk on like a bunch of idiots. It's not even reasonable. Yeah. It is. I mean, if you think that at a grown man needs to be forced by the law to strap himself into a thousand pound bomb filled with gasoline and travel at 70 miles an hour i think you're crazy i think it should be the choice of the driver not up to some insurance company fucking uh, numbers cruncher yeah i think we've been hijacked and lied to and this is for your safety to the fucking death and look at all the death that can that comes from all these lying motherfuckers that tell us how they're helping us. Doctors. Bunch of bullshit artists. Con. You want to be a murderer, get in the fucking medical system. And hide right in front of everybody there. Oh, yeah. Get paid look at for how it. rare. And every once in a while they throw us a bone, the angel of death crap with a nurse that, you know, kills people. Mm-hmm. 
that's to distract you from the ones that do it on purpose. Not just the, oh, she was sick and had some kind of mental disorder and murdered indiscriminately. But no, these people do this as a daily fucking grind. That's what they do. They're inoculating you. Oh, yeah. Okay. I seen a, I, I seen a link on mine that was about a, an autistic child that was had it having fits, biting the arms. And so they had it in gloves, the child. It, it, how, I mean, just a horrible the whole thing is just horrible. Anyway, I put it up on the RLM. And Mr. Beetle took a look at it and said, that's not autism. Or, that's from a needle or, or a pill. And I wrote him back. Yeah, that's the fucking point of the, of the whole thing. It's not that, look at this poor kid's got that. It's that was a result of the shot. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. whether he understood it and was repeating it back in his own Beetle talk, we got to the same point at the same time about the same thing. Yeah. So there you go. And it, it, it supersedes being right or understanding or I agree with every word you say, Mr. Beetle, because I don't want you to. You know, no. Hey, that's just talk on the Internet. You got the fucking point. That's all that matters. Telling me about it, that just makes it like you were saying earlier. Mm-hmm. Then you know who your you know who your equals are in that area. Uh huh. People that think the way you do about it, because it's so rare to see the truth and not and not try to protect it from the you know what's going on. Now I don't know if I'm saying that right, but people would be apt to protect the uh, the doctors and the medicine. Yeah. Not. Hey, they gave that kid a shot to act like that. Yeah, that's the point. Yeah. And to not have to explain that to somebody, they come to that decision all by their self, who tells you a lot. Yeah. And those are the ones you need to focus on. Well, I do already. But I'm just saying that's the kind of response that is so rare in life for me with the with the links and the information that I like to expose to the, you know, the not so wanting public. Oh, oh Becky uh, said that she was able to pull waivers for her kids so they're not vaccinated. And yeah, I Good. think in the state of Kansas, pull it waivers. only takes one parent yeah. to uh, say nope. I just find it ridiculous that that we have gotten to this point where the state has the control of convincing you, and if you don't go with them, they can force you. That, yeah. Where does the freedom fucking part come into any of this? You can't drive if you don't do this. You can't smoke if you don't do that. You need a li- if you need a license to do it, you shouldn't do it. Yeah, well, yeah, if it's such a good idea, why do you have to force me into doing it? Well, it's the money generated from the licensing and the administration. You're keeping people in work. Yeah, those busy That's work the, things. So yeah. I'm talk, we live in the 21st century. We could build machines that could do everything. Okay. Mm-hmm. We have, we have, well, Goober knows way more about electrical than I'll, I'll ever even be interested to know. I can tell that by, the, you know, what he says to the other guys. But I have that thing in my mind where if we were using the good equipment we wouldn't be where we are now but then I think about how we've been educated and what they fuel us on so the results would be the same even if the electricity was good the food would fuck you up yeah because everything is is interwoven and it's all built on a few little falsehoods that they were repeated often enough that people started believing them. Well, what about the punishments that people have gotten from the state or the county or the whatever city for doing something on their own property like growing gardens? And that's just freaking nuts. Right, but the state can come and do their shit to you first, and then you have to chase after them to, to be compensated. Yeah. Yeah. Not accountable to any fucking buddy. They want to rip your garden up. They're going to come rip it up, and then you're going to have to fight them after yeah. the fact, not before the fact. Yeah, that's okay, that's well, where you just look at people and say, really, and you still believe that it's innocent until proven guilty. When they can come in and do something like this, 
and then you have to fight them to be able to do what you were doing in the first place that wasn't hurting a damn thing. Yeah, like owning a gun. Yeah. That, you know, they're looking for every possible way to make it illegal to do it. So they're creating a class of criminal on purpose. Uh huh. But it's not really going to end well for anybody because they're, they're going to get people that have very little to lose and uh, like weapons. Mm, yeah. And I don't think that's a good enemy to make. I don't care if it's the Marines or not. You know, they're, if if you're not fighting people verbally, then what else are you going to do? <laughs> you know, it's going to come to violence eventually. Eventually, and that's a well, sad thing. Well, this is my perspective from being a, abroad for six years, is this, uh, the push with the white the white supremacy thing lately. Well, not supremacy, but the fact that, oh, the whites are being pushed out now. Now the whites need to join together because everybody else is picking on them. Yeah. It, it, it's just a fucking game. That's what I mean. I've gone through it. Oh, it was the Mexicans. Well, then I'm, but I'm not Mexican enough for the Mexicans to protect me. So I'm not Mexican enough to be attacked for being a Mexican. <laughs> yeah. You, you get with this? Uh-huh. I'm not Jewish enough to get protected by the Jews. Well, maybe I could if I asked them to because of the blood. But, you know, I don't get it from the, the way I appear. You know, just in daily life. Mm. What are you reading, you woman? I was talking about being racial. I know I you were talking about being racial, know, but a friend of mine just posted pictures of her poor puppy that had to have surgery. I don't want to know. Anyway, I was talking about deep shit, man. Uh, sick puppies. Oh. I know. Sick puppies take precedence. Sorry. Well, yeah, you people and your damn dogs. Oh, what am I going to do? <laughs> don't you didn't hear me say that, Hannibal. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And it would have my ass. Here she comes. Oh, no. <laughs> she probably knows I'm talking about her now. Well, yeah. Yeah. I was just. Making fun of that. I talk shit, but I got a dog. <laughs> mm-hmm. So, mm -hmm. eh. yeah, uh, but I don't have, I don't have a license. Uh, oh, hey, that was one thing. You know that, that thing I talked about last night with the uh, emotional support animals. Mm -hmm. And I, yeah. had, I had posted the link over on Fakey Book, and my dear friend Lisa B. put quite the tirade on it which yeah I can understand she has um, in her house she also has her her business and uh, it's a salon and in order to be able for her dog to be able to wand for, wander freely in the house and dog of her is just a little sweetheart she really is she she just this little <laughs> fat little thing with legs and um, but in order for her to be able to have Dogafer be able to roam freely in her own home, she had to apply for one of those um, permits for a emotional support animal. And it's not even a government thing. I mean, you, you're supposed to do it, but it's, it's not a government website that you go to. But you have to go to this website and you have to get this specific collar. And then once you get this collar, then, then it's okay. Mm -hmm. But she said, it's just freaking real. It's, it's stupid. Because you have to pay for the freaking collar. You have to pay for all of the paperwork and pay for all this other shit. Just so you can put a collar on your dog that says, yeah, my dog can wander around in my house wherever it wants to wander, basically. Well, and that's what folks will comply with. Yeah. That's the whole point. Right? Wow, that's why I'm so popular in the chat rooms, because I don't give a fuck for your rules like that. That's just a bunch of nonsense. It's like driving a car. Oh, you're supposed to have your hands at 10 and 2. Yeah, yeah I have mine at 9 and 10.45. <laughs> oh, see how you are. Well, I'm just using that as yeah. an example. You know? I yeah. Know. I know. Just because 
you show somebody how something is done does not guarantee they're going to copy it back to you the way you showed it to them. Well, yeah, they're going to do it with their own unique perspective. Yes, and and abilities. And some folks just aren't as gifted with motion as other people are. And some people are, well, yeah, you can say it like that, or you can say some people are more gifted yeah, than well, others. Yeah, well, I rode with other people at speeds in excess of 100 an hour, but I never drove at speeds that high. 90, I think, is about as high as I was willing to go. Just didn't feel all that good about, you know, doing that kind of speed. And it's not even that fast in, you know, in speed. Hmm. What? Well, I'm just trying to think of how fast was the fastest that I drove. Yeah, I'm not talking about being in a passenger. I I was in a Mercedes one, or not a Mercedes, a uh, some German car. Anyway, the guy was doing 140, and there there came a vibration point where it everything stopped, and it was like looking at TV. <laughs> yeah, and it was like watching TV in, in a car. It was really weird. And then we saw the highway patrol. They were just parked with the lights on ahead of him and uh, just waved him over <laughs> and they mm. had a had another cop waiting up ahead of that so when he stopped they could take it give him a ticket ah uh, and it was back in the day right so uh -huh. here i am sitting in this guy's car mm -hmm. the cop never even looked at me no cop didn't ask me nothing cop didn't care i was there you were of no interest he was writing a ticket for a guy doing 140 that knew he was going to get it. <laughs> yeah. It was an exchange. Yeah. It was like these guys know each other or something. <laughs> it was weird. Mm. Oh, yeah. I was younger. Well, I used to go on these hitchhiking extravaganzas and just pick a state and go there. <laughs> oh, cool. You know, I um, there's someone that I think he's in Missouri now, but... Uh, someone, one of the first people that I met when I first moved out here, um, did that kind of stuff. He did the hitchhiking thing, and and wow, some of the places that he went and the people that he met. And... Mm. Mm. Yeah, traveling in in the seventies and the eighties was the eighties was pretty much the end of it. The end of the eighties, maybe even early ninety nineties in there, because. Uh, I hitchhiked from uh, La Paz. No, I was down at um, Cabo San Lucas in um, in uh, Baja. Ah. And hitchhiked all the way back up to the States and then across the States and then down into Miami. Mm -hmm. And I think it took about eight days. Wow. No, I was just on the road, though. But l luck just happened to take get, get me <laughs> some good rides. But I started out at the bottom of Baja. Cool. cool. Not a big deal, but I mean that back in the. But I think that was like 1991. That was my last hitchhiking trip that I ever did. I I stopped doing it after that, and unless it was like an emergency. <laughs> Excuse me, bless me. I just had to sneeze, sneak up on me. Oh, oh you sick girl with your flu. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. no. Hey, you know, Henry Kissinger's got a new improved flu shot. Oh, kiss my ass. No, don't. <laughs> no, no. Man, that mental image yeah, just was gross. But you got to close your eyes and get on your knees and suck it out of a t magic No, tube. no, 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 no. Yeah, I heard. Pleasant tasting liquid formula. Easy to apply applicator. Henry yeah, Kissinger. yeah, 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 yeah. Good God. <laughs> Flu shot. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'll Can flu you, shot okay. you one. There's a, a there's another show on our, um, not our, uh, what is it? The Let me open up the thing and look instead. Oh, no. He's pushing buttons. Yeah, but I'm, I'm better than I used to be. Oh, well, good. Yeah. But it's on the YouTube program. I just want to make sure it's the right place that I'm thinking of. Ah. UCY TV. Oh, okay. Yeah. You ever listen to some? Oh, some of these people are great. I mean, these little small you know, audiences. Oh, yeah. Those are the ones the, I like are, are the ones that don't have a big following. Yeah. Well, 
my one of my favorites is before the first cup with Jules. Oh yeah, I like Jules. She talks all about the AI and computers and she's a smart girl. Yes, yeah, she she's is. Like, yeah, she's like you, smart. What would we do without smart girls? Well, we'd have a lot more sex, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> That's a no-brainer. <laughs> Very little conversation, though. Well, I don't know. Smart girls have sex, too. It's just, it's just not their priority all the time. Mm. Some dumb girls, that's their priority. Because <laughs> that's how they pay for all of their baubles. Is that what that's called? Yes. Oh, my God. <laughs> I, wasn't even, I wasn't even going down prostitution row. I was no, I, that's, about... I'm, well, yeah, I guess it is technically, but yeah. No, there's... Well, now that every third person is gay, it doesn't matter anymore. Ah. They're just going to make robots. Nobody's going to have any sex anymore. Just get a robot. Go down to the robot store and get your prophylactic of choice and protect your machinery. (laughs) Mm. Mm. (laughs) Mmm. Mmm. And this is the best part of this, really. It's all by design. Disguised as events that take place. Oh, well, yeah. It's not. It's a big fucking plan. And as it unfolds, you, you can see from, you know, the 20-year blocks that they do it in and how things change after bullshit stories like, ah, Kennedy shot, uh, Oswald shot Kennedy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I grew up on that. That was my favorite story, Miss Mary. Don't, mm. Yeah, that's what I grew up on. The Warren Commission and the Magic Bullet. The Magic fucking Bullet, Miss Mary. Can you imagine that? If I would have went to school and said, I'm going to do a presentation on the Magic Bullet, I would have been sent home for, you know, being a smartass or, you know, something. Well, you know, they're just really lucky that Google wasn't around way back then because Google (laughs) is killing magic. It doesn't matter. They For the last year, these monkeys have been actually talking in depth about the great Russian hack into the Trump thing. They give this crap enough attention to fuel it for a fucking year. Who gives a shit in the first place? If Monsanto wants Trump in the White House, that's who will be in the White House. Yeah. Yeah. Why can't Johnny Obvious misses this fucking point? The first thing the prick does is fills his cabinet full of Goldman Sachs employees <laughs> and tells everybody he's going to drain the swamp. <laughs> yeah, and he just yet, rebuild it. With and fucking... yet, what? now see, I'm just, I'm going to be. I rant. I know, but I'm going to be devil's advocate for you. And yet, hmm. how many of those people are possibly insiders? Yes, but they are planted there in order to possibly subvert the agenda or however you wish to put that you know i'm i'm really starting to kind of look at people differently and just kind of go mm, i wonder if they're not you know they're they're in there because they have a purpose and the purpose is not what what no, the globalist what purpose told. is it's it's the exact opposite of what we've been sold is what the people in power are doing. And the proof is right in front of you. And if you can't see it, it's because you don't want to. And if you don't want to, I don't know why you'd hear this shit because we're crazy people. Well, no, right, but see, I, I wonder if maybe, you know, there's not, there is an undercurrent that is trying to take out this, mm. you know, the the wizard behind the curtain, if you will. Well, that's that's well, where okay. that's where I was going with it. And I know I wasn't explaining it very well, but I just wonder how many people are in those industries or in those positions that work their way there as like a mole, you know, oh, or a knows? counter agent to. See, but that's not what matters. What matters is the story you get told to explain what you are not seeing. Because you're not seeing it. You're being told about an event that yeah. you can't physically see take place. So you're just taking somebody's word for it. You don't know anything more than what you're told. There you go. 
And well... then they tell you, oh, we've signed documents. And, and it, if you do a thing like, okay, I, I posted a few times to people. Do a search to see if the judge that tried the case signed his his oath. And oftentimes you'll find that the, the they're, they didn't sign the judge's oath. They're not judges. They're magistrates. <laughs> it puts it in a different jurisdiction. Oh, see, and I haven't but even... By, huh. by law, they speak in legalese. We don't have to know all this shit. We're too ignorant to understand it. That's the whole point. We're we're the idiots in this thing, the people that are expected to use it because ignorance of the law is no excuse. Are you fu get the fuck out of here? Yeah. Are you out of your fucking mind? That is the most insane. That's more insane than the words "I'm a Republican." <laughs> yeah. Well, you know that whole ignorance I'm of the Democrat. law thing. Yeah. That's that's pretty much a standard comeback, and yet when you tell them, okay, um, please show me the law, exactly. guess who gets or really like ignorant? Yeah. Right. Uh, oh, well, it's there. Where? I've never seen it. I've seen people that will pay you to produce the law to them. They'll give you 50 grand if you do it. Yeah. Never been collected because there ain't a written law that says you got to. You comply with this thing through other means and get trapped in it after you've consented through other crap. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, if they did it honestly, nobody do it. Now, if you do, if you're a lawyer and you know what the, what it is, you know how to do it. <laughs> yeah, but I tell you what, even some lawyers. Wow, that that one that I watched and it was is from 2014, I think. A, a debate between Larkin Rose and I don't remember the lawyer's name because I was just busy going sick him Larkin sick him because <laughs> man every time yeah. Larkin would say something and this lawyer would try and and explain and apparently he's some kind of constitutional lawyer or whatever but mm -hmm. Larkin just batted him around like a cat playing with a mouse. Well, you're also aware that the Constitution you can't even use it until. You get to SCOTUS. Doesn't work in Admiralty Court. Yeah. Wrong jurisdiction. Yeah. And they came up with that because people were fighting tax cases and using that, the Constitution, as their defense. Ah. And where they just, oh, that document is in the wrong jurisdiction. So fuck you. Yeah. And once, and that's how law works. This is the trap of all this shit. Is you got these people making decisions based on money that's going to benefit them and their buddies, and fuck us all. And we, we're told this other story about how things are for us, and they're never for us. If things were for us, we'd be using hemp and all the the things hemp would could be used to make and be made from, and it would be a different planet. Yeah, it would. No, we got commerce and greed and billionaires and all this crap, and and there's no resistance to it. It fuels itself. It's, it's on autopilot now with this damn internet and the phones and the kids all connected. See, it's on autopilot, and I think that's the only reason why people haven't really felt the crash yet because it's still on autopilot. Well, they can keep it going with just another story. They don't have money in the first place. They just tell you we're so many trillion dollars in debt. Okay. Yeah. All right. Your, your dollar has only got a 5% value. Oh, okay. That's fine with me. Give me some more money. Yeah, and that's where I just want to go show me the money. Show me. Uh, show me. No, I want them to show me just exactly where that $5 trillion in debt is at. <laughs> Show me. Five, show me 20. exactly. Well, I know it's 20 million, uh, 20 trillion now, but <laughs> show me. Show me exactly uh, uh, how you came up with that number. Magic. Yeah, it's magic. Fuck you. Yeah, well, I know. I wouldn't want to be the beast attached to the asshole they pulled that out of. Yeah. Does that, <laughs> that's a monster, man. Woo. <laughs> Pass, and Becky's all over the place here with some stuff. Isn't that cool? Yes, we it did. is. We had pancakes come check us out. Say hey. And Becky's here. I love Becky. 
So I guess doing this once a week ain't too bad. We still get people come back and go, hey, what are the dorks up to? Yeah. Have they taken over the world yet? We have, but it's been a very quiet revolution. I mean, it's yeah. not quiet as in we're not noisy, but... Yeah, but it's... Dorkle Slump Skin is doing a really fucked up job of fixing this. Well, he's not supposed to fix it. <laughs> What? We're supposed to <laughs> fix it ourselves. Everybody's <laughs> supposed to fix their own shit. Uh, it's too big. Is it, just shrink it all down to, to bite-sized morsels. That's Quit what I mean. Global. Quit doing global trade. That'll solve everybody's problems. You know, if you got to fly there, it's too far away. Stop it. <laughs> there you go. Yep. There you go. Ooh. Ban gotta... it all, motherfucker. Make laws against shit. Oh, Stop. yeah. Yeah, Jeez. like we need another one of those things. Do you know how much power there is in not spending money? Yes, I do, actually. How, how come the people that spend the money don't give a flying fuck? And, and all the people that care are the ones that their little bit doesn't make, even if they join hands, doesn't do a dent. Really? You think it doesn't do a yeah. dent? Yes, it does. Yeah. Okay. You uh, haven't you so haven't seen telling, uh, you haven't uh, seen uh, all the corporations and all of the like Walmarts and that with their third quarter losses or fourth quarter losses or all that. No, you think they no. don't notice? No, I don't pay. I'm telling you that all this illusion about money and it's a scam. It's a game. It's too big to to prove to me. Once you start talking past 150, I'm bored. What are you fucking talking about? I, I couldn't take a piece of paper and write down 150 names of people I know outside of family. Are you kidding me? Yeah. First last name, I couldn't get it there. No way. So, mm, eh, it's all a scam. Sell you petroleum products. You yeah. know why? Because hemp products are good for you. That's why. Yeah. And if you don't believe that, watch a couple of links about medicine. Find out what Big Pharma is all about, or the FDA, or the CDC. All these things that they've done and lied to to do them, and then once you've supported them and then they've gotten this big, how do you stop them when the population is just obedient? <laughs> well, and see, that's where people just, you know, they keep looking at the great big picture instead of looking at the little bitty pieces that are putting it together. And you need to start looking for the holes in the picture. It's like a great big mosaic that has all of these little pieces that are falling out of it. Really? It is a great big mosaic, but there's a lot of little pieces falling out. There's a lot of little blank spaces in there. Mm -hmm. And the more you look, the more you'll see all the little blank spaces that are there. And those blank spaces are people that are stepping away. Well, we're still using the Internet, so mm, yeah, maybe but we're not that stepped away. That's what I mean is... Even resisting, you're still participating in the thing that you're resisting. So it's uh, very frustrating. But it's, it's but, how you use the tool. You know, it's just like people with guns. Guns should be banned. Well, it's how you use no, the tool. Yeah, I was making fun of that. Who gives yeah. a fuck bans? Please. Yeah. If I want a gun, I'll tell you this. Ain't no law going to stop me from getting a gun. Yeah. yeah. There you go with that. What for? I mean, I don't get all that registration shit in the first place. You know, why are you complying with that? What are you proving and to who? Mm. No, you're on a list. Of, why are you on a list? And who's who's paying attention to the list of gun owners you're on? And, you know, how can that blow up in your own face? Yeah, especially so those people that have the confirmed carry permits. Or not confirmed, well, con concealed carry permits. It's like, wow, you just put yourself on a list. Yeah, and with all the crazy people in the world that will hire out to George Soros for a few bucks and do a little damage. Mm -hmm. Being in the public eye on, nah, I wouldn't want any part of that anymore. No. Nah. So, no, so I got the road I needed to walk on. But I still got a lot of information about shit. It's like Goober. Goober knows how to do something that's not very popular because people can't apply it. Yeah. You know what? We're out of time. We're done. Hey. Hey.
Yeah. You survived another day, dark table, Miss Mary. You yes, we did. Yes, we did. I am. Gonna get you a, gonna get you a, a statue. A statue? I want a cookie. Oh shit! Yeah, Girl Scouts hit me up. Yeah. And you know what it's gonna say above your statue? What's that? <laughs> <laughs> Yo. <laughs> I actually understand that. <laughs> See you next week. Thanks, Thanks everybody for, for listening. For yeah, be sure to stick around. I don't know if JJ's is going to be on later or not. I saw something about he had a thing going on uh today so i don't know if he'll be on the radio or not but tomorrow at noon eastern time will be grimner with the blues and a rousing game of trivial pursuit in the rlm chat i'm sure also tomorrow directly following grimner will be hal anthony who's going to open up a can of whoop ass on yo ass and give you some brain food please consume it please let digest it please absorb what's in there and then tomorrow evening at 7 p.m eastern time is gary ellen Gigi's boo with the road less traveled so thanks y'all for listening in check back often because there's always something going on here in the rlm i will be back on wednesday for the wackadoodle wednesday but until then yeah yeah i know it's scary and i'm so selfish but thanks, yeah. y'all, for listening in. Have an absolutely amazing weekend, and we'll see you Absolutely. in the funny papers.